Thank you for purchasing a genuine North Seal product. This video is part of a series that highlights installation, maintenance, and repair of the North Seal 200 and 285 butterfly valve. In this video, I'll show you how to install a disc O-ring on 2-inch through 36-inch M-series 200 PSI and 285 PSI valves. The first step is to inspect the disc edge for damage. You should thoroughly clean the groove edges of any dirt and grit which could damage the O-ring. If you need to, use an emery cloth to smooth the edges. It will help to use a generous amount of silicone-based lubricant on the O-ring, but just lightly lubricate the groove if it's necessary, because excessive amounts of lubricant in the groove could prevent the O-ring from seating properly. Now place the O-ring about halfway around the disc groove. While holding the disc groove in place with one hand, position the O-ring on the edge of the disc with the index finger of your other hand. With your finger still under the O-ring, rotate the disc completely to equalize the rubber tension. To ensure equal distribution of the O-ring around the disc, press it into place at four equally spaced points. Six inch and larger valve discs are easier to handle if you place them in a vise or lay them flat on a clean surface. You can use a smooth bar to press the O-ring into place at the four points. Continue pressing the O-ring into place at points in between the original four locations, alternating between one side and then the other until the entire O-ring is smooth and evenly secured. Hold the bar at a slight angle and roll a small section of the O-ring into place. Rotate the disc 180 degrees to work the opposite area. One quick warning, don't install the O-ring by rolling it up the side of the disc into the groove. The O-ring will twist and fail quickly, and don't stretch the O-ring so the cross section is reduced. This will cause it to become large in diameter, making even distribution of the O-ring around the disc edge more difficult. Never pound the O-ring into the groove with a hammer. This will result in damage to the groove edges and prevent the valve from closing properly. For more information, download our new series 200 and 285 operations and maintenance manual at www.norrisseal.com.